Tina today, and uh, these are all the ingredients that we're using right here. We got some uh, like Thai chilies, or the small hot ones. We got some green chilies, that are the longer ones. We got some ginger, garlic, and some onions, and these are the calamansi, which is the uh, Filipino lime. I'm actually going to take those off because uh, they're going to fall in the, in the uh, food. And uh, we're throwing all this stuff in here. I'm going to turn the fire down so it's getting really hot. All that garlic in there. The, the oil is already hot, as you can see by the smoke and everything. It's, it's cooking. And we put all that in, in, in there. Now, this is kind of like a Thai style thing here because we're also using this Thai red curry. <coughs> chili paste right right here we put about a spoonful of that that's that big red glob right right there and we get this at the market in SM City okay so now we got to uh, stir all this up and I'm going to use a wooden spoon because I prefer to cook with a wooden spoon if I can and uh, chop all this stuff up Dip it all in here you can see that and uh, everything's kind of going through like a golden brown and the chili sauce is uh, uh, are the that Thai chili paste, uh, curry, red curry paste, is uh, really uh, an important ingredient. It's got all the stuff that you need to, to put that extra zine uh, in. Uh, we got some fresh tuna that we just uh, got picked up at the market. I filleted it, and I'm going to kind of sear this stuff, just a quick sear, and uh, and then we're going to eat it. So uh, that's what we going to do right here is uh, look at all this stuff this is ready now right here and I'm going to turn this fire off and just let it just kind of set there for a moment because I've got to get the uh, tuna ready so I'll be right back with the tuna alrighty well we, we got the uh, the tuna out of the uh, fridge and uh, it's right right here this is tuna meat we, we, we just I just filleted it and put it in the freezer to keep it hot now I'll put a little more oil in here because it's it's a very thick sauce if you look at it it's a very thick sauce and we need to actually uh, have a little more oil so we can kind of sear this tuna so I put quite a bit of oil in there but if you look on my oil container here you'll see that this is 100% all-natural mm -hmm. coconut oil so I only cook in coconut oil that's the only one that I cook in so uh, and that's good for your heart it's a medium chain triglyceride it's the only one that your liver can process besides olive oil so you could use all olive oil uh, I prefer coconut so that's the that's the smart way to cook with oil only use coconut oil and in the Philippines it's uh, readily available uh, and you can just buy it right off the shelf. So as you can see, I've kind of made this oil a little bit deeper after the sauce uh, kind of got all mixed up in that. And uh, I'm going to, as soon as this gets hot, I'm going to drop that uh, tuna in, in there and I'm going to sear it real quick and then uh, put it uh, on the plate and it'll be chow time. So we'll be right back. In just a second, as soon as that uh, oil heats up. So I think we got the oil hot, it's ready to go, and we're going to drop this tuna in in here. This is a quartered tuna. It's a, I'm not sure if it was a bonita. They call it a, honey, what do they call it here? Barillas. Barillas. And barillas, direct Tagalog to English translation, means barrel. So it's a barrel fish, which a tuna is a fat, round, kind of football shaped fish. So. That's how it goes. But this is it right here. I'm going to lay this guy right down in here and let her sear. And the oil's pretty thick here, so, uh, you know, we're. Uh, here's another little piece here that we got. Uh, here's another little. Well, that's a big piece there. So we're going to cook all this up and then we're going to eat it. And we, we, we got the oil nice and hot. I'm turning it, the flame up a little bit more because it's not as hot as I would like it. So uh, stay tuned and we'll be right back. We got the uh, tuna shearing coming over here and take a look at this. Um, and I don't know if I should use my tongs or this uh, super, but as you can see, one side is already uh, pretty much uh, seared. We're turning it over here and turning this one 
over here. The oil is really deep, and I don't, I don't know if it really needs to be this deep, but uh, I'm just kind of experimenting this for my first time. And again, it's loaded with Thai seasonings, so it's going to be kind of spicy, a very chilly uh, Thai garlic. Um, um, what else we got? We got ginger in here. We got a bunch of uh, Thai chilies in here. And just a matter of seconds. I mean, that was in there for maybe a minute or two. And that's about all that we need. So I'm going to let this kind of just cook for, I don't know, a few more seconds. And I'm pulling it out. And I'm expecting that we're going to have some really delicious tuna here. These small guys are going to come out first here. Because this one here is... Uh, uh, I think this guy's done. It's, and again, it's, it's only been a minute, two minutes, right there. You can see the outside is all uh, cooked. The inside you want to uh, have uh, still, you know, the red, like the sashimi all, all, almost, right there. And uh, these bigger pieces, I'll be honest with you, they should be, they should be done. And then this is, uh, be careful when you turn it. You put it over to the side where the oil's not so deep and turn it against that side so it doesn't splash. If you're, and that goes for frying fish, any kind of uh, cooking that you're going to do with, uh, in hot oil, you want to turn it over uh, where it doesn't splash the oil. Now this guy here should be just perfect. This guy here is also coming out. He's, uh, should be perfect. And uh, we're going to sit down and we're going to eat some delicious Thai, very spicy tuna. I put about 10 chilies in this. And then I put how many of the green Two. chilies? Two of the green chilies, which are larger chilies that are not as hot. But they're also um, uh, not as spicy, but, but they have a nice flavor. So that's, the, uh, that's what we're going to eat tonight. And that'll be it for now. So I hope you guys uh, can use this uh, for your home cooking and uh, enjoy it. So enjoy. Bye.